on the Baller Chat TV. And look, we got some good games going on tonight. And I'm going to just tell y'all my predictions. And then, you know, you can argue against me or whatever. Um, Pacers versus the Magic. I'm definitely going with the Pacers. Magics have had a real tough season this year. And they just need to let it go and wait. The next game, Hornets versus the Cavaliers. Definitely going with the Hornets just because I'm a big fan of um, LaMelo Ball and Miles Bridges. You know, that's a really good duo. And right now they have Isaiah Thomas with that 10-day contract. So I'm excited to see how that goes. All right. Then we got the Knicks and the 76ers. Um, I think this one is just going to be a given, man. The 76 is going to blow them out is what I'm thinking. Um, you know, Spike Lee been trying to ride for the Knicks and all of that good stuff. But I just, I don't see it happening. I don't see anything major going on for them to beat the 76 Next game, we got the Bucks and the Heat. That one going to be tough. That's going to be probably the toughest game of the night. Um, if you look at their record, the Heat 41 21, the Bucks 37 25. Um, I know Giannis, he could put out whenever it's time, so he could be a problem. But if they end up locking him up on defense, I definitely could see the Heat winning. So even though I want to say the Bucks. This time, I'm going to go with the Heat. With the Heat. All right. And at the same time, we got the Pelicans playing and the Kings. Um, The Kings record not looking good. 23-40. Pelicans not looking good. 25-36. But I'll give this game to the Pelicans just because, you know, I don't know, they, they beat the Lakers. But, I mean, who hasn't at this point um, this season? So, I think I'm going to just give it to the Pelicans just based on that. Plus, all jokes aside, they have Brandon Ingram. And now, um, they have CJ McCullum. So, it's looking good in New Orleans right now. And I'm excited about that. The next game, I predict the blowout. Jazz versus the Rockets. The Rockets ain't been the same since James Harden left. I don't know what they need to do, but, you know, they looking kind of Laker-ish-esque right now. Um, So, uh, I definitely believe Jazz is going to tear up the Rockets. Even though I really love Jalen Green, man. Young kid. Um, I think he has a long way to go, a long way to develop, but I don't know. I wouldn't want to be the face of the Rockets. You know, I wouldn't want to be the Rockets franchise player. But then I'm not in the NBA. I'm not in the WNBA. So, I mean, I can't I can't really hate on them um, for that. But I think since James Harden left, this team definitely need a reset. Like, they have to figure out what's going to work for them. Get key players in there so that way they could be dangerous um, on the interior and in the perimeter, you know. The next, we got the Thunder and the Nuggets. I'm giving that one to the Nuggets. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree. Um, the Nuggets just been balling. They just been going off. So that's why I'll give them this game basically. You can see they 36 and 25. The Thunder, they only 19 and 42. So, you know, if you look at numbers, if you look at the data, um, I'm predicting for the Nuggets to go off. And then finally, Trailblazers versus the Suns. Uh, the Suns fire. Like, 49-12. Really good players on their team. Um, 
you know, D Book, Chris Paul, all of them guys. So I definitely, I definitely got to rock with the Suns.